Hello there guys and welcome back to yet another one with us, The Review Bros. My name's Aaron and it's really good to have you here. Joined with us today for Superhuman Supreme Rudolph Rage Christmas Edition. Yes, you're right guys. We are a little bit late for this one. Obviously it's February 2021 so we've missed Christmas. This is due to Instagram. We actually put a story up the other week where we said, guys, what do you want to see us review? This one popped up. We tagged Alpha Lion in it. Alpha Lion got in touch. We managed to get hold of one of these tubs. There's a few around. So that is exactly why we are reviewing this one. It's not currently available off of the direct Alpha Lion website. However, there are some retailers that still have some limited stock left of this. Inside Subs of the UK being one of them. So we're going to get through all the usuals today. The taste, the price, the label, the effects. How does this compare to the other versions? Is it a good product? Is it going to be the next one for you? Let's go. Swiftly moving on into the first segment of this review, we go through the taste and the mixability of these products. Yes, it's the least important, but we still do think it is important. Why would you pay some seriously good money for some nasty taste in pre-workouts? Well, this comes in the one flavour, and that's right. It is that Rudolph Rage flavour. I can tell you guys underneath it does say a rainbow dragon fruit. I'm not too sure how that's very Christmassy, but nonetheless. So is this a 42.21 serving container? You guys know the drill. We always go by the, um, the maximum scoop, and I'm, I'm sure that most of you will do the same. This is very strong in the air. 16.5 gram scoop gets you that serving size for the full scoop. Let's see, it smells nice though. It does smell nice and nice and fruity, nice and fresh. Let's do it. Broken back into the classic shaker. We will have a website up and running very soon, guys, where you can get stuff like this. Lots of goodies coming. We've got quite a bit of froth there, actually. Look at that. Frothing away, mixability. Oh, there is a bit on the bottom there. There is a bit, can't deny that. I think it's one of those ones though where you go through it, it sort of actually dissolves by the end of the drink. Let's see. It's good. It is good. I'm yet to come across an Alpha Lion product that doesn't taste good. This is nice, nice and sweet. It's very sweet. If you don't like sweet things, it might not be as nice for you. It definitely has that dragon fruit-esque taste. There's no medicinal, nasty chemical aftertaste. I think they always nail their flavours. This one's not the best one, but it's still good. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. You will not complain. I put it that way. You will not. Let's move into the pricing side. Now, Alpha Lion, we know the drill. They're generally very expensive. They are premium products, top of the line supplementation. That is, that is how it goes with Alpha Lion generally. Now, I will say, it's not currently on the official Alpha Lion website, as I mentioned at the beginning of this review. However, we do have a discount code that works on everything over there. RB20 knocks off a huge 20%. So yeah, it's well worthwhile using that code if you're looking for the normal Superhuman Supreme, if you're looking for Superhuman Pump, or like I say, any of the products, 20% off. So there you go. However, we are going by these guys. Insight Subs. They currently have a fiver off of this product. Obviously, it's gone past Christmas, so therefore it's a little bit of a deal. I can tell you it's retailing currently at £34. 99 pence. Now, when we divide that up by the 21 servings that you're most likely to do, a pound and 66 per the serving. Now, I can tell you, actually, that comes in at a four out of 10. Yes, you're right. More expensive than a normal product. That being said, the honest truth, before I looked into the pricing, I was expecting this to come out at about a two, a two and a half, which is what we've seen before. So I will say that's better priced than I thought it would be. And then we're going to move into the label and the effects and see exactly, is it worth that money or not? Let's go. It 
is label time. Let's break down this label, see exactly where that money is going. Now, what I would like to say, as far as we know, this is the first limited edition that has a different formula to the normal Superhuman Supreme. So it's a thumbs up for that. We do like the variation. So let's get through it. So what are we getting? We are starting at the beginning here. Straight in, the superhuman energy and focus matrix. Above that, just some vitamins and minerals. Niacin, you might get some slight niacin flushing from this, which is like a slight reddish tinge to the skin. It feels like it's flushing in a bit. It might not. It really, really is person dependent, that one. Moving on, caffeine and hydrus. We are going by the full scoop, guys. 350 milligrams, which is a nice, healthy dose of caffeine, guys. It's going to give you that stimulation, that energy here. Then we move into N-Extra, which is a nice trademarked ingredient. It's been shown to amplify the effects of caffeine without raising the heart rate or blood pressure. So we do enjoy that one. It's been shown to also increase the length of time that caffeine works. So we do enjoy that ingredient. It's not that often we see it. Moving us on, we move into N-N, dimethylphenylphenylamine, which is Aria Gerensis. You're right, guys dubbed a similar effect to DMHA in that it gives central nervous stimulation and a wave of focus and concentration. It is part of that focus matrix for sure. We do enjoy that ingredient. 200 milligrams is a good dose indeed. Infinity has decaffeine malate at a nice 100 milligrams to top up that caffeine anhydrous at the beginning. Infinity lasts longer. It's a slower digestion form. So therefore, when the caffeine anhydrous starts to wear off, the Infinity will start to take its place to make it last a bit longer. Good to see. Your Himbine HCL at two milligrams, nice little fat burner there, gives you some nice stimulatory effects as well. Very similar to the next ingredient, Alpha, your Himbine, which is more potent in our honest opinion, at a nice one milligram, which I'd say is the perfect dose. Any more, you do start to get the negative side effects such as the cold sweats, the chills, the excess saliva. There's some negatives to some higher dosages. I'd say a milligram is good, give you some nice energy too. Moving us into the next blend, the Superhuman Pump and Performance Matrix. L-citrulline malate, two to one ratio, six grams, which is an okay dose, guys. It's gonna boost that its nitric oxide levels up in the bloodstream, thus leading to a pump. Good to see, a gram of taurine follows hydration and pumps. Grams a good dose, I'll say again. And then S7, a double the norm, 100 milligrams. It's a blend of those seven different things there. The green coffee bean, the green tea extract, the turmeric, the tart cherry, the, blue, the blueberry, the broccoli, the kale. Been trying to amplify nitric oxide levels by as much as 230%. Pumps for days, hopefully. Keeping on through this, we move into the superhuman strength matrix. Beta alanine, three and a half grams, very good dose, 300 milligrams above the clinical for that itchy, tingly feeling effect. And once it's built up in the system, will help with endurance, you'll be able to bench forever effectively. We hope. And betaine and hydrus, two grams. Obviously, we'd like to see it two and a half, but I'm sure that 500 milligrams isn't really going to make a difference for um, a jack of all trades, pumps, endurance, everything, performance, good stuff, good stuff. We move into the anti-crash, which I would suggest putting the Infinity in here partially. Up to you guys if you decide. And L-theanine, 150 milligrams, which is nice because it's lowered from the Superhuman Supreme. That's 350, which a lot of people complain about. It tapers off the stimulants, it calms them down, it suppresses them like a blanket to give you um, a prolonged sense of stimulation rather than a hit. So therefore it can taper some off for some people. We always, we've never minded it, myself and Craig. Some do, 150 milligrams is obviously less than half. So it's still gonna have that effect a bit, but not as much. So it can be a strength. Again, we'll move into that in the effects section. And wrapping off the label, the absorption matrix, 10 milligrams of black pepper extract to really um, assimilate all of these ingredients into the body as efficiently as the intestines can do so. So yeah, very, very extensive label that's covering all bases is really. Let's get into it. Let us begin with the steak of this review, the most important bit, let's be honest, the meat of the meal. The effects, how did this work in real life? Now I'm gonna sum it off as I always do. We take the label, we throw that aside, we go by how this worked, as if I was blind testing it. So, beta alanine, oh my, 10 out of 10. Itchy, tingly, scratching my eyes out, I love it. I've always enjoyed it, from Superhuman Supreme to, you know, uh, Superhuman Pump. The beta alanine they are using is top notch, plus you're getting a good dose of it, so you do feel that, it's really good. Let me just grab the other tub for reference. Here is a normal tub of Superhuman Supreme. So let's go through the differences, let's go through this one on its own. So, what I'll say is, the beta alanine kicks in, and then so does a wave of energy. You get a real sense of urgency with this product. 
you really want to kill it 20 minutes after taking this product, which is rare because some of these higher stim, going down the uh, euphoric route of ingredients sometimes, especially with the areogerensis and other bits, they sometimes take a bit longer to kick in. This one didn't. You are rocking and rolling as if it's got caffeine citrate in it, which it doesn't. I thought it did, but it doesn't. So I was expecting to see it on the label. But again, we don't go by the label, but we wanted to kill the sessions very quickly after using this product. What I will say though, is that energy is nice. It's hard hitting. There's no denying it's a hard hitting pre-workout. It doesn't last as long as this one. Now that's a strength and a weakness, depending on how you want to see it. There's actually no crash off of this product. It came down relatively quickly, but relatively smoothly as well. I didn't slump at any point. It did last a good two and a half hours to three hours, and then you couldn't feel it anymore. Whereas with this one, when I take this one, I feel high off my bonds for the rest of the day, like literally until I go to sleep. I'm like, I can feel it in the brain. This one wears off after that three hours. So that's a strength to this one, in my opinion. I don't want to feel it all day. It had no negative effects on the appetite suppressant, which the original one did a bit, not a lot, a bit. This one, I was starving after training. I ravaged through a meal, some chocolate bars, some crisps. I was just hungry. Honestly, I had the munches. It really weird. I don't know why. Nothing in it suggests that it's going to do that, but my appetite was fine afterwards. Now, Alfie Himbine, you guys might be asking that question. Perfect dose. Perfect. No negatives. No cold sweats. No chills. Just consistent. Attack the weights energy. A real sense of focus. A real sense of kill it. Go for it. Gun for it. All of it. And such a sweet helping of pump alongside it. Pumps were savage, 10 out of 10. I do not think you need to add in superhuman pump. That's a question we get asked a lot, so I stack it. These ones, this one included, the pumps are very good on their own. I don't think you need a pump thing alongside it. I also think that might affect the digestion of the product, so I wouldn't bother personally. I think this is a full package. 10 out of 10 pumps, 10 out of 10 focus, 10 out of 10 energy, it's so productive, it's so good. Mood elevation on this was very apparent too. I felt happy. I was in a cheery mood, killing the weights. Really one of those ones that makes you want to crush it. I didn't feel high on this, as I mentioned. I didn't feel um, anything brain highness. I didn't feel euphoric. I didn't feel any nausea that sometimes comes alongside that. It just felt like, um, like this whole pre-workout was designed to tun literally to tunnel at the weights and the gym session at hand. It doesn't make you wanna do stuff after training. Like I say, there was no negative crash. It's just a really good product, really good all-rounder. Pumps, focus, energy, zero complaints. Zero complaints from me. Some people want the extended energy and highness, in which I'd say go for the original, and I think that's because of the L-theanine dosage, personally. This one, though, is a 10 too. Th that one was a 10. This one's a 10. So I do think they're 10s in slightly different ways. I would say this gives more energy. That, that one, this one, gives more highness. So it's up to you what you want to decide. I'd say this one's honestly better for training. This one's better for if you've got stuff to do after the gym. So it depends. Depends on what is your cup of tea, guys. But yeah, straight 10, so worth it, so worthwhile. Time for a quick wrap off in this final verdict. Now my final verdict is buy it whilst it's still around, that's the truth. <laughs> Let's go through the chronological order stages of the review. We mixed taste and mixability were first up. We got an eight out of 10. Not the best tasting product from Alpha Lion, but you will have no complaints whatsoever. Still good, eight, and eight out of 10 is a good score, isn't it? Price of the product, four out of 10. Premium product, expensive, more expensive than an average product, definitely. However, cheaper than I thought it would be off of the Insight website. And the effects of the product, go through that effects section. It's very, very worthwhile. 10 out of 10 for me. It's one of my, um, it's still definitely in my top 10 pre-workouts of all time. 
like including some of the illicit ones. Really, really good. Some people might question me on how the um, Superhuman Supreme, this one, compares to the DMHA one back in the day. I honestly think this is as powerful as that, if not more powerful, and that same theory goes with this one. I do think it's very good. Very, very productive product. Very good. Very good. And I don't know if I've said it yet, but very good. So um, yeah, appreciate you guys watching along. Do follow us on Instagram if you don't already, because that's where we get our pre-workout recommendations. It's just review bros, it's review underscore bros is the tag. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Please hit the thumbs up and please drop us a comment below on your thoughts on this product. Have you tried it? Have you tried any of the other Alpha Line products? Or do you want to see us get reviewed? You know, anything basically, and we'll do our very best to get back to you. It is much appreciated and it does help this channel grow. Appreciate you guys, as always. Stay stinned and this'll do it. <laughs>